Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to show you how to turn a regular riding mower into a fun and fast machine. These typically have around 18 horsepower and only 2 horsepower is used to move the thing forward and the rest is used for mowing. We're going to get rid of the mowing deck and convert it all to speed. First we'll remove the mowing deck. There's the deck and there's our tractor. We'll start by taking off the hood. And we'll jack it up with ratchet straps. We want to take this deck pulley off the drive shaft. That pulley drives the wheels, and these two pulleys act as a clutch that tighten and loosen the belt as you move the pedal. And we don't need those, so off they come. This idler pulley pivot arm is no longer needed, but we still need the spring to attach to this rod for the brake down here. I replaced it with this simple washer. Like that. Back on top, I'm going to take out this battery bucket and deck lifting arm. After stripping off all the parts we're not going to use, we're left with the transaxle and the drive shaft. Now we're going to start rebuilding the transmission with this CBT. Here's how they work. When the engine is idling, the belt just slips so you're in neutral. At low speed, the front pulley is small and the back pulley is big so you get hill climbing torque. At high speed, the front pulley is big and the back pulley is little so you get a really fast ride. So we'll put the driver pulley on our engine shaft. I spaced the pulley out on the shaft a little bit with a piece of pipe so the belt wouldn't rub this steering arm. I got this extra long belt for clearance and the driven pulley is mounted on a 5 8 rod exactly 15 and a half inches away. The rod came through here just behind the steering column and we'll stabilize it with this pillow block bearing like this. Bolt it on like that. So drive pulley, driven pulley, and we need to connect to the transaxle. We're going to drop this transaxle with two bolts there and one there on each side. If the engine went straight to the tranny with no reduction, we'd get 13 miles per hour. In mower configuration, we're going from 3.5 to 9, which gives us a 2.5 reduction or makes the mower run about 5 miles per hour. We're going to exactly swap these so we have a 2.5 increase instead of reduction, and now we're running 33 miles per hour. We'll reuse this as the driving side, but this bore is too large, so we'll use the same thing with a smaller bore. Since we're here, let's take a quick look inside the transaxle. The power comes in from that gear, which lands on here for reverse, here for forward, and there are six gears. So these gears drive these gears, which drive this gear, this gear, this gear, and finally to the rear differential, which allows the two wheels to drive at different speeds. You could do modifications in here to make your mower faster, but the pulley method is easier. Now we have to get this pulley off and replace it with this one. Constantly covered with wet grass, these rust and are hard to get off, so we'll use a pry bar underneath like this and a hammer on top. I soaked this with penetrating oil last night. Off with the old, on with the new. There's our 5 8 jack shaft back out of the mower and you can see it has a 3 16 keyway and the driven pulley already has a key in it but our new pulley does not so we have to add our own. So all together it looks like this. Here it is back on the mower and we'll stabilize this end of the rod with a pillow block bearing mounted on these angle brackets. Here it is all installed. I used two angle brackets for the cross members there and there. I went back to the frame and there are holes all along here so I put a strap there and there to give triangle strength on both sides and the pulleys spin freely. Engine to CVT to 9 inch pulley down to a 3.5 inch pulley on the transaxle and this is a 62 inch belt. Back on four wheels but before we take it out we're going to have to tighten up this steering. When you're only going 5 miles per hour loose steering is fine but at 30 it becomes dangerous. Part of our problem is this loose linkage. So this rod goes into a larger hole and it had this thin plastic bushing in between them. We'll replace that with this thicker bronze bushing. That's a lot better. Another area of steering slop is right there. We'll tighten that up with a long bolt put through there and then mount it into an eye bolt in the frame right there. Another problem is right here at the base of the steering column. There's a little bit of play in those gear teeth. We'll put a washer under this bolt to push this gear down to make better contact with that one. Much better, the slop is all gone. We've taken out this gas lever assembly from there and there, and now we're going to build up a gas pedal using this deck lifter cable. This is the engine speed control arm, and we're going to move the throttle spring from there to there and attach it to one end of our throttle cable. The other end is connected to a gas pedal made of diamond plate and a piano hinge. The choke is right here and I used the old throttle cable to hook it up to a knob there. Here we go! Thanks for
for watching. I've got links to all the parts and my other mower videos in the description below.